Hey everybody, we're back. Uh, I've got a little uh, 1 16th ounce Tamora jig head. Uh, I got some different eyes. I put them in this one. Uh, we're going to be tying it up today. And guys, I forgot to... I forgot to swap out my thread again. Gosh, am I... have so many videos on my phone but we'll get this done here pretty quick don't tune out I'll be right back in just a second there we go now let's get at it. We'll go ahead and get us some thread laid down. This is Black Danville 210 flat wax thread. We're just going to tie it down to the hook tip. This is going to be mostly black. Uh, well, just about all black. My Chanel's got a little gala in it, but uh, uh, let's go ahead and put us some Sally Hansen down here. I've got a piece of black White River Marabou. We want to try to hang it over just about the length of the hook. That should do it. We'll give it a couple of pretty good wraps here and we'll make sure we got it where we want it. And that gets in my way. I like to, I've said this in another video, I think I like to cut it off before I tie it on up to the head. Just leave enough material to, to go on up to the head. Or it works out better for me anyway. And then we can clean that fuzz up with our thread. There we go. And I want a little flash in it, but I don't, I want to keep that black. So we're going to try to find us a couple of pieces of straight black crystal flash. Just something to catch the flash, but we don't, I don't want to change the color of it. Let's tie this back up to the head. Make it a little easier to tie in our crystal flash. I want a little flash to it, but I don't want it to I want it right there. I'm going to take and cut that off right past the end of the marabou. little bit farther there we go that is good let me put this black crystal flash back up if I don't try to keep stuff straight I've got a mess for you know it and this is the this is our new age bumblebee chenille that's what we're going to have right there. And let's see. I may need to double wrap this. We'll see when I, if I can ever find the end of it. There it is. Before we, before we start putting our chenille in, we're going to go over those threads with some Sally Hansen. Make sure our threads are our chenille don't go anywhere. I just go up with my finger there to keep that chenille from messing up on me. Like I say, I don't know, we may have to double wrap this one, we'll see.
Mm, I believe we're just going to let it go right there. That's not too bad. Let me tighten my vise back down and we'll try to get our chenille tied in. I'm just going to pull it forward here and go behind it three or four times. Go ahead and cut off our chenille. And let's see here. I've got a lot of fuzz there. I'm going to take my Sally Hansen. Put a little on that thread there before we start tying it in. Go around it there a couple of times. And then we'll try to do our whip finish on it five times. Give it a pull. Now we know our knot ain't going to come untied. Should last us a pretty good while. So let's take a close up look at it. Shine my forces here. There we go, guys. It wouldn't hurt to double wrap that if you want to. That'd be fine. Uh, and be, you can see them eyes there. They're different than the ones I've been using. Thought I'd try something different. But there we go, guys. Uh, another jig in the box. Guys, I'm going to thank you for watching. I appreciate all your comments, your likes, your subscriptions, and uh, we will catch you next time.